Hello everyone, today I'm reviewing Freak Du Chic, Jennifer and Twyla. These are the only two I don't have or didn't have and now I do. Um, I have their boxes down there which I'm going to show you afterwards. So let's have a look at what they come with. So they both come with one of these cards, these Twyla's, and they can go in the Rochelle playset which we have reviewed. Cool picture over there. And then here's Jennifer's. It's really cool, I like that flames and then uh, Twyla comes with a pet because she is like one of the black and white ones like the Claudine because Claudine came with a pet as well and her pet has the little uh, symbols it's really cute this is Dustin he looks really cool he's like a different color I'm looking at him up there and he's like purple I don't know if you can see him all the way up there Nick's in front of Twyla and he's like a greeny colour, this one. And he's got the symbols in his hand. So it's a completely different mould. And he's really cute. I like him. <laughs> um, and they both come with a black stand. They both come with a black brush, I think. Because I opened them a few days ago. I think they come with a brush. But um, I'm not 100% sure. Um, Twyla does stay on her stand, even though she's on stilts. You kind of have to put her stilts in front of the stand to get her to stand best. Because otherwise the stand kind of tips up. So yeah, it's really cool. So I'm gonna um, review um, Jennifer first, okay. So Jennifer also comes with this fan and this flame in her mouth. So let's go over her hair and everything and then I'll take the flame out at the end. So she has green hair, it's quite long. Ooh. It's green with a bit of black and red. It's really pretty. And as you can see, it's quite long. I haven't brushed it or anything. She has this flame hairband on. Oh, she has the green, sorry, not the green, the red and black going into her fringe as well. I think this might be the first time I've seen her with a fringe. Oh no, she's got one on the uh, swim class, which I have as well. But usually she doesn't have a fringe, I don't think. Yeah, the swim class one has one as well. I love the swim class, Jennifer, she's so pretty. I'll have to review her sometime. Um, and then she has the flames on her headband little studs there's her cool ears <laughs> and then I love her makeup it's really pretty so she's got like oh the fan out the way she's got like green eyeshadow and then she's got some dots above her eyes she's got orange under her eyes and then the swirly pieces coming down which is really cute she has like red lipstick like a shimmery red and she has the flame coming out of her mouth and like I said um I'll take it out in a minute but there's the flame while we're here so it's green, but it looks quite cool because what you can do is you can like line it up with a fan because that's what she's doing. She's like setting her fan on fire. So it does look cool and her fan's really cool as well. So look all the flames coming off it and then she can hold it. Her hand's a little bit bent. I think when she was in the box, it bent her hand a little bit. Here's her neck piece. Her neck piece is a little bit strange shaped. I don't know if it's just my one. There's something wrong with it. <laughs> Look, it's got red flames coming off the back and then it's got elastic band around it if you can see let me move her, oh, her arm out of the way there we go it's like a nice translucent which looks cool and then her dress is really pretty looks like it's got a bigger shoulder piece this side and then a thin shoulder piece this side see what I mean and then she's got like the tassely bits coming down like the uh, thin material both sides and then she, I love the outfit it's got like little checkered pieces there and it's like green and uh, black it's got like this white swoopy bit coming across and it's got a little green belt with the stripes <laughs> and the bottom's really nice so underneath she's got the red and black um, stuff that all of them have got somewhere because look she's got white and black all of them have got this in like various colours in this line and then it's, her dress is kind of jagged going over the top and it's got the swirly white bits that look kind of look like spider webs it's like checkered there and there with the green and red so she's like green red black and white she's really pretty colors it suits her really well and then there's the back of the dress so it all goes all the way around it's really pretty there's her cool tail coming out the back her shoes are really cool i love her shoes so it looks like a dragon's face at the front, if you can see. 
like a dragon's mouth and then it's got like the tassels at the front and little studded pieces on there from the side look you can see all the teeth of the dragon at the side and then oh it looks like a fan on a hill with the flames coming off of it if you can see that that looks cool and you just notice that and it's got like all flames coming off of the uh, bottom of the hill as well it's really cool looking I really like the colour as well, they're really pretty. Let me see if I can take her thing out without pausing. <laughs> Probably going to fall over. Oh, I knew she was going to do that. <laughs> so here she is without the flame. It's a little bit crooked. There we go. They've done it a bit crooked, which is really unfortunate. It's quite noticeable, especially because they've done mine crooked. But I'm going to leave her with it in anyway. So there we go, that's what it looks like out of her mouth. So yeah, it does look a bit strange without, but with it in, it looks really cool anyway. So yeah, but you could always paint the lips if you wanted to. If you painted them like a really dark colour, you probably wouldn't even be able to see the hole. Or you could fill it up with something and then paint them if you really wanted to get rid of it. And I always love Jennifer's gold skin and her hands are so pretty. The same hands as Gigi. Her stand is really wobbly. Yeah, her hands are so pretty. Really translucent -y as well. Yeah, so let's look at Twyla now and then I'll put her thing back in in a minute. Here's Twyla. Twyla's my favourite out of these two. I really like her. She's so cool. So, here's her hair. It's actually not that bad. It's quite gelled and fluffy. It's a bit different to her. Uh, it's not the same as Honey's. And it's like black and green. Black stripes coming up it. And I love the way her, her fringe has been curled. It's really cute. Okay. I just love the fluffiness. It looks it really suits her. So black and green. And it's normally um kind of twine as her usually. I can't even see it. I think it's like purple. I've only got the haunted twine up there. She looks obviously a little bit different. <laughs> so here she is. I love her makeup. It's a little bit more simple than uh, Twyla's, but she has like swell, purple swells coming off the bottom, green eyeshadow with grey, and then she has like blush on her cheeks, like green blush, which looks kind of cute. So she's kind of like got a bit of a black and white, black and white look to her. She has like a really light purple lipstick, and it's really shimmery if you can see that shimmery lipstick, which is really cute. And then she has this ruffly piece around her neck, which I really like. It's green and black, and then she has checkered top which kind of looks like Harley Quinn's outfit at the top the way it's checkered oh and she has fishnet sleeves on both sides with her uh, bracelet which actually has looks like it has little faces on it if you can see I think it's faces anyway it's really hard to <laughs> yes Sorry, the girls are calling me. Yeah, they do have faces on them, but it's... Yeah, there you go. I don't know if you can see it now. I'm doing a review. What is it? Oh, good. <laughs> I thought they were going to argue again. They've been arguing today. Um, the middle bit here is all silky, and it has spiders on it, which is really cool, and swirly green and black. She's got the little poofy bits there, which are really cute, little puff balls. And then she has this other layer here, like a... Um, little uh, fishnet-y material, it's white, shiny white, and then it's really cute, it's like a little little rumper, she's got the, these slightly baggy shorts, which is the same as that material, really silky with the spiders and the webs, I think it's webs, yeah, green webs with black spiders and the fabric's black, and then her, her stilts are amazing, <laughs> let's go down there so I can show you them, so she has socks on, and then on the socks she has these um, pieces coming off, the black and the white strips which is really cute and then as you can see she has a shoe here I'm not going to take these off because I want to leave them on but her shoe is like really swirly and it has a flower there and it looks like it has stitches at the front there as well it's really swirly and then her stilts are joined onto the bottom of the shoes but they actually connect around her leg here you can see that Okay, and it looks swirly there, so that's where the stilts connect there, and then it's all swirly here, and then they go down from here, so it's got that bit there where the shoe is on, and then it's all swirly down here, and it goes into like a little peg at the bottom, 
And it kind of reminds me of like a, a table leg, the way it's like patterned. It's really pretty. It's all black, but they do look very detailed. Look how cool they look. So swirly. They're amazing. They just look really cool and it makes her a bit taller. And obviously you have to have the stand right up to the top. But it's best to have the uh, the stilts off of the stand because she just kind of tips off without it. I need to kind of readjust her again. I'm just going to put Jennifer's mouth flame back in and then we'll show you the boxes. Won't you, May? Here we go. So as you can see, this is the best way to display Twyla. Because <laughs> she's more stable like that. So you have the stand there and then you have the stilts in the front. So yeah. She looks pretty good like that. And there's uh, Jennifer with her flame back in. I think her outfit's really cool. And like I said, I don't mind the flame. I think it probably would have been better if it was red though. But And then you could have had like the red flames coming up. So it could have been a green fan with red flames coming up. And then red flame coming out of her mouth. It probably would have had better effect. But I still like it. I just think it would have looked even better if they'd done that. Let me know what you think. Um, let's show you the boxes. I usually break up my boxes and keep the artwork, but I wanted to show you these boxes because they look so cool. So here's Jennifer's, and it's got like the curtains around it with like a flaming hoop there, and then it's got Freak to Chic Jennifer, long daughter of a Chinese dragon, and there's a cool artwork of her there. Then here's Twyla's. It's got like the curtains, and hers looks really black and white. It's got like a clown there, and one juggling and then there's a cool picture of Twyla there really cute oh look you can see eyes through the tent on there because that says freak to chic and that one doesn't I don't think where I got these from that's weird one of them's different to the other here we go Jennifer and then here is the back of both of them oh this one was from Argos as you can see I'm not sure where this one was from there. Um, there you go. Nice large artwork over there. Twyla, Freak de Chic. It's got a picture of her on the stilts there, but she's got pigtails for some reason. And then there's a little artwork of uh, a Jennifer, like a silhouette. This one has writing on it, but that one doesn't. So this one says Jennifer Long, Fiery Hot Act. There's a cool picture of her there. And then it says Step Right Up. And see the most exciting acts on the midway. There's Honey Swamp, the Mysterious Marinette, Jennifer Long, the Fierce Fiery to the Shockingly Magical Fra Frankenstein, and the Scare Devil without a wear cat on a wire tour. I'd be the first to see, not the last to know. Don't wait until your friends tell you, tell you. experience the wonder of Freak to Chic for yourself. Be yourself, be unique, be a monster. And that one just doesn't, doesn't have as much written on it. But yeah, I really like these boxes. They're really cool. Let me know what you think of these dolls. Let me go back up to the dolls. <laughs> Here they are. Let me know which one's your favourite. I like Twyla the best out of the two. I just think she's she's just really cool looking. It's just a really different look for Twyla. I love the black and white and the curly hair is really cute as well. It's very gelled. I wouldn't try and brush that out because you'd probably completely destroy it. And it's, yeah, it's got quite a lot of gel in it. And it's a different poofy, poofiness to Honey's hair. But it's, it's still really cute and it's very neat. And I like it anyway. Um... Yeah, and Jennifer's really nice too. It's just that um, she doesn't look that good without the flame in her mouth. So if you're going to buy her, just bear in mind that she doesn't look that great without it. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, everyone. Like, comment and subscribe. Bye.